This is my current BMX bike. I've been running the same frame now for over two years. It's the Total Killaby K4 and it served me really well, but now it's broken. So inside this box is my new frame. As you can see, I went with Total again just because my last frame was also a Total and it did me really well. So I figured I'd go with them again. Here we go, let's unbox it. Did I already unbox this and realize later that the whole thing was out of focus? Maybe, maybe I did. And did I retape this to make it seem like it hasn't been touched yet? That's also just a maybe that we don't know and we can never find out. Anyways, here we go. All right. Regardless of the technical errors that happened earlier, I'm still really excited about the new frame. This is the Total Hangover H4. Alex Colborn signature frame. I decided to go with this just because the slight changes in geometry compared to the Killaby were pretty much exactly what I wanted. It's just so clean looking. I got this in a 20.4 inch top tube this time, going smaller compared to the 20.7 inch top tube on the last frame. I'm just a little bit smaller. I think it'll help me with things like spins and tail whips. I'm not exactly the tallest guy, so I don't think it's gonna hurt me too much. I'm gonna go over the geometry, which if you're a nerd like me is really interesting. And if you're not a nerd, you'll probably have no idea what I'm talking about. About. This thing is running a 75.25 degree head tube, which is still pretty responsive, but not quite as responsive as on the last frame. The standover, I think it's the smallest standover I've ever ran on a frame. 7.25 inches. I think that'll help with tail whips and tricks that involve like stepping over the frame. Bottom bracket, 11.5. That's pretty standard. For the chainstay is 12.6 inches slams. It doesn't get too much shorter than that. And just like the other frame, the brakes are going to go through the seat tube, which I think is really cool. And and then like the total cutout right here. Just super clean. I think it's gonna look really good with the chrome. I'm just really excited to build this thing up soon. I decided to get a new sprocket as well. This is the total rotary sprocket in a 28 tooth silver. I think the design is just super clean and lightweight. And then of course, when you get a new frame, should get new bearings. So I got a new bottom bracket and headset. So by the time that I actually get to ride this thing, it should just be running super smooth. The only weird thing about it is that the only thing that came in the box other than the frame was some chain tensioners, which is fine, but I'm pretty sure, I'm actually certain that my last frame came with brake hardware, which is not too big of a deal considering I can just pull off all the brake stuff from my previous frame. Unfortunately, it is raining right now and I wanna build it outside. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow when the weather's a little bit better. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. We have my current bike with my old frame, and then right here we have a box with all my new stuff. Before I start taking this apart to start building, I'm going to tackle the bottom bracket, because last time that I built a bike up, I had so much trouble getting the bearings in, so we're going to start with that. I got this rant bottom bracket from the bike shop, but I'm only going to use the bearings. Got some grease, got a hammer. I actually got it in this time. I'm gonna throw on the bottom bracket spacer. Actually, I don't know. This one might be too long. Okay, I was going to throw on this bottom bracket spacer, but it seems like it's too wide. Maybe that will be absent from this build. That wasn't too bad. That definitely went easier than last time. We have the frame just chilling there for now in the box. Now it's time to take this apart so I can do a proper swap over. lot harder to do than I thought. My stem just did not want to come off my fork. But now it's time to start building the new one. Oh no, I need spacers. I guess these are gonna have to do for now.
I am done building this thing. It took a lot longer than I thought just to get everything dialed, but this is my bike as it sits currently. I think it looks really good. Let me know what you think. I had to plug the YouTube on the frame and I had to wrap the shop sticker. Shout out to GHY Bikes for hooking me up. I would not be able to get this frame without them. So if you're in the Seattle area, check them out. It is definitely low, but not too much lower than my other bike. I have my seat a little bit higher like usual, but I'm thinking about putting a different seat on just so I could slam it to see what it would look like then. Purple grips, I'm not too sure about. I feel like the purple looked really good with the gold, but with the black frame, I feel like it almost looks a little bit out of place. It does still match my stem bolts and my tie front hub bolts. Also no more pink spacer. I don't know if you can see, but we have a silver one in there now. Could also say that I might have too many spacers right here. It's really the same height as it was previously. It's just that I don't have a gyro on right now. I just don't really feel like putting the brakes on right now. This took long enough as is. The only thing I need to do now is to actually ride the thing and see how it feels because I have not ridden it yet. So I'm going to pad up and go to the skate park now. I've made it to the skate park with the new build. Let's get right into it. I'm still recovering from my rib injury and my knee injury. I'm going to take it super easy. We'll film all the basic stuff right now. All right, what do you think, sir? It's got a good shape to it. A shape? It's just a bike. Well, it's a good shape, but it's a lot of lines and a lot of little, you know, stuff. Careful, don't get a shinner. Oh my gosh. Careful, it's got a Z coaster on it. Thank you. I'd say I like it's like a, like a, a solid B plus. B plus? <laughs> well, I mean. But I was going to put pegs on it. I don't know though, should I? Someday. Forgot to mention that I do have the coaster spacer back on, so it's no longer full cassette. So I'm gonna try 180 with. I haven't done one of those on a coaster in some time now. Clean, but we got our first try, so I'm gonna count that. End this with a hop whip. <laughs> Wish me luck. consider this a pretty good first session on the bike. I can't wait to heal up and actually push myself again on it. Just feels good to have a fresh frame again. I will admit it feels weird to not have a gold bike anymore, but I think this is just super clean and simple. As it rides right now, it feels really good, but I kind of want to change things up again just to keep things fun for me. I might throw on pegs. I might lower the seat. I'm not too sure yet. Before I rode today, I actually went to the bike shop to air up my tires because I forgot my pump at home. And while I was there, I weighed it and the current weight of the bike is 20 pounds, five ounces, which is is pretty light, but I'm surprised it's not lighter than that, actually. I just want to get it back under 20, though. But uh, anyways, I love the new bike. It feels really good. It looks good. I Hopefully, it lasts me another couple years. I'm going to get out of here now, though, and rest up. I'm excited to film clips on the new build. If you like the video, give the video a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you think and what you want to see. I have new videos coming out every single Thursday, so subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.